This year I wanted to get into shape and eat healthy. I mean, I used to look like that. And how I got like that was through the keto diet, which is a low carb, high fat diet. Basically the human body burns carbs for energy. But if you're not eating carbs, your body goes into a state of ketosis where it starts burning fat for energy instead. You drop pounds like this. But if you're gonna try it, check with a nutritionist first or do your own research. But I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite keto meals. So let's go hit the kitchen, come on. What we're gonna be making this morning is some cheesy eggs with an avocado for those important fats and some center cut bacon. You know, the fatter, the better, honestly, because we need those fats. I like to take off some of the grease on the bacon. You can leave it, honestly, it doesn't matter. I just don't wanna drink my bacon, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, that worked way better in a video I saw. Anyways. Just top the avocado off with a little bit of salt. Not too much, just enough. And bada bing, bada boom. Cheesy eggs, avocado, and bacon. Completely keto, delicious, and healthy for at least this diet that we're on. You guys already know I'm lactose intolerant, but when we're on this diet, we have to do things fully to the max. So it may look like a huge plate of food, but when there's no carbs, it really just doesn't hit you as much and you kind of feel hungry all throughout the day. But on this diet, you can literally just keep eating as long as it's just fats, no carbs. Oh, those cheesy eggs are so good, man. Mmm, perfect crunch with my bacon. A couple of these avocados. I don't think I could have made this any better. As you guys can see, you can eat really good when you're on keto. Breakfast, you can eat really good breakfast when you're on keto. Wow. That was delicious. Clean my plate. Now I just look forward to lunch because honestly, I'm still hungry. <laughs> We're making tacos, but not your normal tacos. We're making lettuce wrap tacos. Let's start cooking, come on. We're using ground turkey. Zero grams of carbohydrates. <laughs> Gonna season it up with some garlic salt. Zero carbs. Check this out, I'm gonna show you how to make the tacos now. So this was the only green salsa that I can find that literally is less than one grams of carbs. All other salsa verdes have two grams of carbs in it and I didn't want that, so this is the best we're getting. Back with our Mexican cheese and our boat lettuce. I went with the boat lettuce because look at that. It's like a boat. You can shovel the meat in there and bada bing bada boom. Start filling up our taco with the meat. Grab some cheese while it's hot. Sprinkle that over. Cheese is our best friend while in keto. Although I'm lactose intolerant, that ain't your guys' problem. Pour that in there. So usually I'd like to put some tomatoes in there or something, but tomatoes have carbs, so we're not gonna do that. Cheers, keto. Mmm, that's good. It's dripping. Man, that's good. Mmm. Wow, this is almost better than a taco, and it's so healthy. You can even throw some avocado in there if you want. I think it's good as it is, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But I'm gonna finish this up. You don't need to watch me eat 14 more tacos, so I'll check back at dinner time. So next thing we're gonna make is some burgers. Not any burger though, lettuce wrap burgers with bacon and maybe some avocado. Let's start cooking. <laughs> Check back when it's all done so you guys can see the masterpiece. A double cheeseburger with an over easy egg, three pieces of bacon. Let's bite into this bad boy. This is gonna be a juicer for sure. 
lettuce wrapped. I forgot to mention. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, there it is. Here she comes. We had a catcher in the bottom. It caught all the egg yolk. Oh my God, that's delicious. That is so good. You guys gotta try this one. Wow. Look at all this. The yolk. Try to pour it back on. Recycle and reuse. Wow. Remember guys, zero carbs in this. Full keto. This is how you do it. Keto doesn't have to be hard. It can be delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend you try this. Now for the next meal, we are cooking salmon, jumbo shrimp, and asparagus. Not too excited about this one, but I'll make it look good. So let's start cooking. First things first, let's season with some lemon pepper. Toss it on the grill. Fresh squeezed lemon on there. Cover that up and let it cook. Take your asparagus. Lay it out in there. Get some olive oil. Coat it. Brush them all in there, get it evenly dispersed. I'm gonna use some Himalayan sea salt. Now we're gonna put them in the oven to broil. 10 minutes on the clock. Take a look at our salmon. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. More lemon. Now it's time to shake. Shake them up like that. I think that top level is a little too hot. It's burning the paper, so. Now let's prepare the shrimps. And these shrimps are already cooked. I bought them cooked. I'm just gonna throw them on there for a little bit of sauteing and just basically to warm them up because they were in the cold, you know, in the glass or whatever. So let's warm them up. And now let's see the final product. And last but not least, some extra lemon all over. And now let's try this thing, okay? First, fill one of these shrimps. Mmm, juicy, delicious. I, you can't go wrong with these things, man. And they were on sale at Ralph's. Pound for 12 bucks, half off. Damn, these are good shrimps. Mmm, I'm just glad I got some more still on the stove. Next, we're gonna try some of the salmon. Mmm, I don't think I could have like bought better salmon than this. The only thing that would make this hit a little bit more is a plate of white rice, but I can't obviously eat that on keto, so I'm gonna have to stick with this asparagus. Let's try it. I've never cooked asparagus this way on the broiler, so let's try it. Mmm, oh my. I've only ever cooked these on the stove top and wow. On the broiler, it's just a little bit different. It hits a little bit different. Mmm, even those are juicy and delicious. I don't know what they're juicy with. It's asparagus, but damn, it's good. I even got a hint of lemon on there and that's a good combination. Super simple meal, but super delicious. I'm telling you, keto doesn't have to be hard. It could be delicious too. Mmm, got that one right out the socket. I sucked the shrimp out its tail. Mmm. Finger licking good. I cleared the plate. Damn, that's how you know that shit's good. And that's why I'm unprepared